Coming to you live from Garlemald. We got Joanna. She's in the television. I forgot them. Um, uh, Alright, the audio seems pretty good. The weather? It is... Actually pretty clear. That's... Doesn't usually happen here. Usually always snowing. Um, the sun was out a bit a while ago. Uh, I don't know where it is anymore. There it is, there's the sun. It's a beautiful day in girl. All clear skies. Usually, yeah, you don't get that a lot. It's crazy. Anyway. Uh, yeah, if you want a G-Post there, I come to Fairy in Garlemald. Um, is the weather different everywhere? Oh, that's a good question. Anyway, hello. We are gonna do the job quests. Five of them. So, I've had them kind of stockpile for a while. I didn't know when I was gonna do them. Uh, but I think now is a good time. We really have, uh, I want to do an FF14 stream, so I thought, why not? And so, I looked down the list, we've done... It's a good thing I put these in order and keep them that way, because, uh... I would not have known, um... What, uh... The order would be. But, uh, yeah, no, we have, uh... Last thing we did was Sage and Reaper, which were the new jobs. And then we did the 80 ones for Red Mage. Paladin, Summoner, and Scholar. All in one stream, I remember that stream. That was also a stream where it was, like, my last sub. And then I was like, I might as well do the job quest along with the role quest. So that was more than a year ago that we did them. So we've had them stockpile for quite a bit. And then in that time, I've leveled Reaper, Sage, Dragoon, Warrior, Samurai, Astrologian, and Machinist. Oh, no, wait. I, I put Machinist in the title. I forgot. Machinist isn't leveled yet. Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, now we're doing four job quests then. I don't know how to count. All right, we got four job quests. Maybe we'll level Machinist as we, we fucking go. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's level 50, 87. Oh, say 57? No, 87. Um, I doubt I have enough to, to do that. Uh, it would be insane if I did, but I don't. Uh... Uh, yeah, no. Uh, we got uh, at least four job quests. That's fine. Um, I'm fine with that. Uh, it just leaves more t uh, room for later. Uh, I don't know why I thought I had a machinist. So, sorry, we won't be able to do that. We were close, though. Um, yeah, where is the job quest for this thing? I don't know. Last time... Oh, wait, no, I remember now. It's at Curtis. But the one that the Realm Reborn Curtis. So it is Dragonhead. Yes, Camp Dragonhead. Over by the at Astrologian place that we can sometimes go to as well. Uh, but yeah, this was, it should be a fun little stream. I'm gonna go do that. Maybe we'll see a Stinian in this job quest. I'm not sure. I go gone but not forgotten, I think is the quest name. They don't unlock anything, but they're nice, uh, cap stories to all the job quests. Uh, which is neat. It's neat to have those. Neat to have an uh, ending to those stories. Uh, some of them sometimes don't feel like they're the ending to a story. I remember though the monk one was definitely like the first one I did. First job I ever did. Hashtag monk. Was definitely like, this is the ending of the monk storyline. This definitely seems like a, a, a full circle moment. So that, you know, sometimes it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. It, it, it depends on which ones, uh, yeah. The first hysterical observatorium of the Ethereum astronomical phenomena. Shout out to that place. Can you change your name, please? Oh, is that Nidhogg? And you get Materia? That's cool, I guess. I'll break his key to hear your adventures. Sure, Albert, let's. Let's, uh, let's talk about my adventures. I've been through a lot. Uh, Joanna, it's been too long since last we spoke. Yeah, it's been, it's been a long, a bit. Your visits are far more frequent than those of another former student of mine. Uh, I thought he died. It was weird that he lived. And he became important. That's crazy. Anyway, however, it would seem he still prefers to keep his own company. The same could be said of Hustian, who has made quite the name for herself as a hunter in Dravania, according to Ornkai. 
Ah, unfortunate timing. Speak of the dragon, and he shall appear. Wait, what? Are you here? I loved you back in... 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 Authored. Won't you at the museum step with your parents? Greetings. Would I be correct in guessing you have returned fresh from one of your adventures? Oh, uh, let's see. Travel to a world beyond our own. That's uh, Shadowburgers. I laid rest the dreaded Andrea in the land known as Norvrent. Hmm. I don't remember the last part. Andrea. But, uh... Yeah. A world beyond our own. I will lead with that. Why not? I feel like it's a ball somewhere. To think that such a place could truly exist! And that you fought such terrifying foes! To fall so far from grace. Tis a tragic tale, if I ever heard, have heard one. One similar to that of Nidhogg. Aye. Though nothing will ever compare to his malice. Even death could not quell his thirst for vengeance. At least Andrea was not nearly so consumed by hate. I doubt not that Renderay's soul is at peace. That's- Oh my god, that's right! Peace. I wonder if Nidhogg ever found it. Wait, do you only get to do this if you do the- The, the role quest for this one? Probably. Oh. Well, okay. Maybe- Is that- Is that it for all of them? Hmm. Maybe. Uh, maybe it has been. I haven't been paying attention. Oh, well. <sighs> I fear his soul yet lingers, doomed to wander endlessly. That is too cruel a fate, even for him. I share your sentiments. For as the Azor Dragoon, I once gazed into his heart. As he gazed into mine. Such rage. Such sorrow. I will not accept this. That none should mark his passing is more than I can bear. What say you, Joanna? Mm. Mm. Oh, both answers are interesting. Ah, uh, we could more honor that. But dishonoring a man who tried to, to plunge a war, well... The elves were racist. And they did just fuck over Nidhogg, so I... Uh, uh, I, could, I could talk about how I am an Azor Dragoon, so that does speak true. He, is, he was full with rage and sorrow. Let's go with the second one. I was gonna go with the first one, but it's hard to honor a lot of that. He, he kind of went a little nuts, so, um, but I also respect it a bit because, hey, the elves were pretty racist. So I'll, I'll, I'll talk about the facts that, yes, I saw into his soul and it was pretty, it was angry. He blew up an entire bridge. He was on fire. It was a lot of stuff that you went through. I too was an Azura Dragoon. Abrek speaks true. And we are in agreement. Though I must admit that as part of Fresh Vulgar's brood, I have little knowledge of Nidhogg. A deeper insight is needed if I am to properly pay my respects. Hmm. Bonham is of his brood. If anyone would know, it is her. Let us make haste for Zenith. Flip. I love his little animations. Yeah, so uh, let's go talk to Nidhogg's brood. Maybe they have any insights. Now we're gonna stay here. For better or worse, I am who I am because of Nidhogg. While others rejoice at his death, I cannot deny that part of myself died that day. Alright, now let's go to Zenith. 
I'm also wearing the the male version of the Valentine set. It's pretty nice. I really should go on my ults more. I haven't unlocked any stuff for my ults. But because I haven't unlocked them, it's like, oh, do I really want to do that then? Uh, where is it down or up? No, it says up. Oh, right here. I could have sworn this place was a lot taller. Anyway. My name is Cum. I'm sorry? This place is cyberpunk music. I'm very, I'm very worried. Never say those words in that, that phrasing again. Small dragon. Whoa. What up, buddy? <sighs> Welcome, noble dragoon. Onkai has explained all. Pray tell what was Nidhogg to you. Kind of an enemy. A relentless adversary. And much more. For through his power, you are forever joined. Oh yeah? Two souls entwined by fate. <sighs> Though you have faced Nidhogg's wrath and sensed his pain, you cannot know him as we dragons once did. You would fain hear his tale. Nidhogg was without equal, even among our kind. Destined was he to guard this world from the catastrophe that befell the Dragon Star in place of his sire. He valued strength above all else. He considered the affairs of mortals beneath his notice. So he was Virgil. <laughs> just like, he valued strength. Virgil? From DM DMC 5? DMC? Virgil? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Only the seven great worms were worthy of his attention. And among them, none but Ratatska truly understood him. Her song was beautiful indeed. She graced both dragon and man with her wisdom. She was invited by Dordan, king of men, to speak on our behalf. But Oscar expressed our desire to live in harmony. However, it was known that Nidhogg did not share these views. When the king asked her how her brother saw mankind, she did not hide the truth. He believed that such frail creatures were incapable of protecting this star. The task must be entrusted to the seven great worms alone. And that is why Nid Thornton slew her? No, he probably was like, I do that eyeball. That, that, that's where your power comes from? I was like, yes, it's, it's very powerful. They have immense energy. Oh, interesting. Hey, hey, do you mind like leaning in? We can give you a hug. Stabs her. But Hotsuka had no intention of sowing discord, but the king could not countenance that his kind would be treated with such contempt. That we dragons would seek to claim this star as our own. He turned on Ratatska, Ratatska, taking not only her eyes, but her life. When Nidhogg discovered that King Thornton had murdered his beloved, his fury was beyond reckoning. For all the strength he could master, his own, he could not master his own rage. It utterly consumed him. Dragons, men, we are all the same. Slaves to our emotion, subservient to our hearts. Yet there are those who would seek another path, as I once did. I turned my back on my father in his quest for vengeance. Valiant Dragoon, by your strength was the Dragon Song War ended, and by your compassion was a new alliance forged. I like how this dragon looks like the most wicked dragon, probably destructive. Look at all these spikes. Very something like a World of Warcraft like dragon. And he's like, nah, nah, my dad was I don't like war. My dad was crazy. Uh, oh I guess dad, but my it's, 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 it's asexual beings. My my brood he was not not great. 
So uh, I decided to just be peaceful. Just wait it out. See how that went. Joey and I, I are living proof that we can live side by side. We shall speak the message of peace to man and dragon alike. And when we are gone, our descendants will do the same. Oh, that's so nice. Tell them of Nidhogg, his strength, his weakness, his love, his hate. Tell them the truth. Okay. I mean, it technically did not work out for Ratatotska, but maybe it'll work out for us. Why not? Telling them the truth. Orin Kai, you wish to commemorate Nidhogg's passing, yes? As my father once enjoyed the fragrance of Miss Lilies, perhaps they would make a suitable offering. Oh, whoops, that, that was him. My bad. What a splendid idea. Thank you, Von M. I've often seen such flowers blooming in all the time. Follow me. Let's go. Thanks, buddy. All right. Search for Miss Lilies. All the way over there. Okay. This is a nice little weird epilogue for uh, Evans Wood. Even though we actually also have an there is an epilogue quest. I don't know if people have done it before. Um, it's pretty good. Oh, it reminds me. I gotta do Scholasticator one one time. Maybe we'll do it next week. Let's go last week. It's quest line. Get the glass movement emote. That's a pretty good idea. That sounds like a fun time. All tan. Dun 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 dun. We. The heck is with the red enemies? Are these hunts? What is this? Yeah, they may be our hunts. Hang on. Oh yeah, I did take them as Dragoon. That is! Oh yeah. Live in peace as I destroy these dragon nets. Oh my god, you didn't see anything anyway. I distinctly recall seeing Miss Lilies in this very spot. What could have happened to them? Do we have to look for them? Um... Oh, wait, they're there. Oh my god, I'm a whale! I got him! Did we go to his uh, house and plant them there? So there were the Miss Lilies here, after all. Then they would appear my memory served me correctly. I pity that the same cannot be said of my eyes. It is no matter. There is one thing that concerns me, however. In your funerary rites, the offering of flowers and such occurs at a grave or a place of significance, I believe. But where should we choose for Nidhogg? Uh... The Steps of Faith, I guess? Girabania? Yes, that could be considered his final resting place. If that was where you fought the primal born of his eyes. I guess you are right. I was about to say, like, what does Garibaldi me? And then I remembered that, yes, that technically is him, in a way. Although I must say, Joanna, you seem rather adept at putting down dragons and primals that resemble dragons. It makes me glad that we are not enemies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it, yeah, don't worry about that, buddy. Him. To matters at hand, then, I shall go on ahead and meet you in Garibaldi. I didn't take down your parents. I was fighting them, but I didn't take them down. Yeah. Speaking of Garibania, it will be really hilarious if they decided, yes, the next, uh, restoration area is Garlemald, and then everyone's just like, motherfucker. 
We really didn't do Alamigo. We really skipped Alamigo. What a relief to have found you at last. I had become rather lost, you see. Perhaps we had best hurry to the Royal Menagerie before I lose my way again. That would be pretty messed up. It's like, really, guys? The place that Garlemald is kind of fucked over, you're gonna fix Garlemald first? Need talk. We are come to honor your memory. Oh, whoops. Though now that we are here, I am at a loss for words. Joanna, is there anything you wish to say? Hmm. The way they treat you is fucked up, man. I understand. It wasn't cool, but I understand. Alright, what do we get? I like the second one. The first one is very short and sweet, but I like the, the specific specificity of this one. Your legacy will live on in the songs of your people. This is still image of him from distant star a father bore seven eggs great worms rose forth powerful and wise on blackened wings one sword on high with a roar that set the world to tremble guarding their home in the father's stead he was fearsome yet just hey I was there and my armor that's cool they put me in my armor Man, wicked in vain, betrayed the worm and his kin, slaying his beloved, looking out his eyes. Thenceforth he lived only for vengeance, his wrath irrepressible. A thousand years hence, two champions of mankind were granted great strength by the stolen eyes. Destined were they to face the worm, who had risen once more to wage war on his sworn enemy. At the end of their struggle, the wayward son fell silent. It's us, the duo. These guardians and their comrades continue to watch over the star. The heroic deeds recounted by minstrels and storytellers far and wide. Even the ancient foe from which the father of dragons once fled could not withstand their might. I just had a, a whole movie playing in my head when I did that. Joanna, I am not blind to the sins of Nidhogg committed. I mourn the loss of what he once was, what he may have become had he been dealt a kinder fate. Although this was but a small gesture, I am sure that our thoughts have reached him. Yeah. I have much to ponder on the return journey, and I expect Alberic will wish to hear what we have learned from Von M. Perhaps you could visit him in Curtis. Turn it in. This castaway chocobo chick is adorable. Uh, before we actually hang on, as adorable as it is, I've uh, I know him and you know it. Do I have him here? I uh, there he is. We bring him out for the final part of the quest. Let's look at him. Let him look at our dad. Let's, let's go, father. We move. Oh, well, we, we even. Yeah, you know what? Let's also do this as well. Why not? Uh, where is he? He should be in the top. Unless he. Don't sort. Man, it doesn't seem to be sorted. Seems to be in however way they they want. It doesn't matter. Oh, it's a fate. No.
I'm coming. I cast the lateral. Well, that's what that means. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you able to pay your respects? Yeah. I uh, see. This is the first time I heard of such a detailed account of King Thornton's axe. Betrayal in a moment, but a betrayal nonetheless. A pity he is far beyond the reach of justice. Though it may be hard to come to terms with the crimes of our forebearers, we must accept the past for what it is. Of course, I shall be sharing this information with the rest of the Temple Knights, know that they will be keen to speak with other members of Nidhogg's brood to verify this version of events. In the meantime, there is still much to be done in building relations between man and dragon. We will aim to follow the example set by you and Owen Kai, and work together for the good of all. May the fury guide you both. Yeah, yeah, get the story out. Tell, tell them that uh, King Thornton was an ass. <laughs> He's not a good guy. Dragoon, age four. Yes, that, that that game will come out one day. Trust us. It, it, sure, yeah, it'll, it'll come out. Why not? I have these materials. I don't know what to do with them. Oh, I have a siren card. Oh, I did uh that dungeon. Was it on stream? I don't think I did it on stream, but I did that dungeon. I think a day, a couple days ago. <sighs> well, that's it then. I heard about what happened in the Gimlet Dark. It would seem that Asinian just to wait in the wings rather than take center stage. Though he played a decisive role in the drama that unfolded. How fair you of late? How fair I? Oh, the better for seeing you hail and hold, my friend. Though I and the rest of his Obar contingent had every confidence he would return safely. It was far from the foregone conclusion. A sentiment shared, it would seem, by Astinian. After returning from your journey beyond the stars, he paid me a visit. Hey, there you go. He spoke as if those words might be his last. Indeed, he was more candid than I had ever known him. His tribulations with Ned Hawk have left him changed man in many ways, and not all for the worse. Since meeting you and yours, he's learned to put his past behind him. A past that I know only too well. And now you and Asinian have saved the world that Midgar Summer himself chose as the last hope of his kind. Man and dragon alike owe much and more to your great deeds. How fair is the contingent? I knew the members of the Visionary Force were so early tested, but I am pleased to say that each and every one of us made it back to camp. Uh, some might call it a miracle, though. In truth, it was the result of careful planning and the various delegates working as a unified whole. I must say, I had my doubts about Lord Emanuelian's ability to hold his own under such conditions. I do, too. I have those doubts. In the end, the lad acquitted himself rather well. I think we have his ongoing rivalry with Sicker to thank for his newfound resolve. <laughs> Fantastic. There's just but one example of promising young warriors combining their unique strengths for a single purpose. Alright. Thanks for that info. Now... On to warrior. Damn it! Uh, where would it be? Where was it again? I'm in a big suit. Uh. Ah, yeah, I know. Costa the Soul. That's it. He's over there. I remember it like it was yesterday. Not really. Uh. Now I can apply them. Hang on. Oh. I love Gundam. There we go. It took a bit, but... Oh? There. Perfect. Also, I'm gonna bring out the uh, the chocobo trick again. Yeah, why not? 
since we're in also Coastal Soul. Are there any fates going on here? Yeah, there's never fates going on here. Alright, I believe. Yes, there he goes. Once, twice, three times a warrior. Maybe we should change the name. I'm too lazy. The, the machinist part. Because it's not true. I'm too lazy. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe if I get it high enough level. Wait! No, I can't. I'm dumb. It needs to be 80. It doesn't need to be... Oh, I can do machine it if I have enough time. It's already 8 o'clock. Hmm. Curious Gorgeous training here. But his mind is elsewhere. Oh, Joanna. How long has it been? I've been dedicating myself wholly to my training for some time now. Day after day after day. But I fear my progress has come to a halt of late. You look well, a fair bit stronger than I remember even. What is your secret, my friend? Have you grown so much more- Why have you- How have you grown so much more powerful? <laughs> so, uh, I got sucked into this portal and traveled to another world. Wait! I can tell this is gonna take a while. As I've just finished my training, why don't we speak at length on dry land? That's a good idea. Adventures of uh, Brandon. <sighs> so there are more worlds in this, eh? That's a lot to take in. And it's Granson, and also Granson. Ye gods. To see the woman you love taken from you before your very eyes. <laughs> no wonder he struggled so mightily to pick up the pieces of his life. After listening to your tale, I realized that what it is I've been missing. The one thing I lack to spur me to even greater heights. Tis love! Uh, yeah? I sent several missives to Dorgono, you see. But she has yet to respond to even what even once. I've waited patiently. Eagerly. But still, still no word has arrived. Fear has crept into my heart. Has she forgotten me? Has she met another? I cannot rest until I know the reason for her delay. I must know. This is no time for training. You're right, buddy. Don't get... Don't get, uh... God, what is it? Ghosted? Yeah, don't get ghosted, man. You, you, you find out why. Nor can I afford to be patient. Granson's time with his beloved was cut short. Who is to say ours will not be as well? Or worse, if it already has. It is decided. I will purchase the passage on the next ship to Far East and return to Azim Step in All East. I'm coming, Dorgono. At least, uh, that, that, it's a bit extreme, but uh, all right. <laughs> Buddy, come back. Wait. God damn it. Joanna, how fortunate you are here. I've been looking all over for Curious Gorge. The Marauders Guild told me he trained near here, but I did not know you did as well. You just missed him. He's headed to where you were. What do you mean he's going to the step to see me because I never answered any of his missives? Is this a joke? No matter how many he sent, I would have never responded. Our people have no written tongue. Whatever reached us was probably fed to the goats. <laughs> you have no written... Oh, that's right. Isn't they like... Isn't they like a tradition? Not to speak. I guess. Oh. Probably for the goats. Anyway, let's hope that someone informs him of our arrival before he gets on the ship. As for why I've traveled all this way, it was at the behest of my father. We wish to thank you and Curious Gorge personally for fighting on our behalf. Oh, hello, man. He is, uh... Got them spikes. I'm Lufson of the Quirrell. And you are Joanna Joyster. The Kagan who stood with my people against the Shagan. But that is not all, all for you who also helped my youngest daughter gain control over the will of Karash. No words can express the depth of my gratitude to you. No problem, man. You promised not to speak of Karash. But I must. 
My heart broke when she was marked as, a t as taken in exile. Never again would I see her, I feared. <laughs> but then she returned. Blood of my brood. Blood of my blood. Master of Karash, my little girl. It is all because of you. She's like, Dad, you're embarrassing me. And thanks for your deeds, I wish to present to you. Dirty horses. I already got like a bunch of horses, my guy. I don't need 30 of them. Otter, no. It is not the way of you always to give horses as thanks. And besides, she is a traveler. They would only be a burden. Yeah, 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 sorry about that. I already got a bunch. I whistle when they come by. Magically. I apologize, Kukulon. Now then, I must also express my gratitude to the others. Warriors of the Maelstrom. What were they? I believe I recalled the way. I should really get a link show with a uh, curious gorge and uh, tell him, yo, come back. If you have the time to spare, might you accompany us? Having traveled so long so solely in the company of my father, I am finding him increasingly exhausting. I uh, I know that feel. Let's uh, let's go. Mr. Gorge. Gorge better come back. I'm in it. While this happens, you know, I open this Reese's peanut butter cup that I have. I bought a pack yesterday. And so now uh, it was a four pack and I have uh, eat, ate some at work. But now I have the last one, so I might as well take a nibble. If you listen to the more berry dry docks, also before it melts, because I did put it in the, the work fridge and then I was like, oh. It's frozen cups are pretty good. Yeah, it's good. Some good shit. Also, the fog here has finally gone away. Like, uh, so that's good. Finally got out of the, the sky over here in New York. And, uh, yeah, it was a little hard to breathe a bit sometimes. I don't have any respiratory issues. And I never smoked at all, so, so it wasn't that bad. But, like, sometimes my eyes were watery and I was like, oh, God, the air quality is terrible. But it's finally, finally back down. The sky looks clear. Air quality is back to a normal-ish uh, quality. So that's good. I also forgot this is where the... Uh, you the island sanctuary, sanctuary guy? Oh, yeah. I should travel to some friends' islands. Why is everyone here? What the fuck is this? Is this New Island Sanctuary? What the hell is this? Is there a quest here? 
Did Island Sanctuary sure we'll get like another quest? I'm not sure. You know what? It's fine. Gorge is not a good. Got good taste, huh? If it weren't for him, I don't mind to go. Uh, g give me a polite and wholly appropriate compliment and be on my way. Well, I do know how difficult my daughter can be, and so I wish to represent, present you with a gift of expression of my gratitude. I'm told you would have no use for horses, but uh, what about 50 goats? Um, well, I could use some milk and put them in my farm and uh, my island sanctuary. Actually, yeah, yeah, send them to my, my island sanctuary, yeah. Uh, that would be very helpful. It brings me joy to see limits and warriors in good health. Yeah. A broken mountain. Where's your brother? It's a pleasure to see you again, Joanna, as well as Dogono. I'm surprised to see her as you doubt as you doubtless are, and in the company of her father besides. I must insist that you accept a small token of my appreciation. I do not doubt my daughter was qu was quite a handful. No less than 50 goats, I think, should suffice for the imposition. 50 goats would be far greater imposition, Vader! Uh, it really was no bother, sir. A pleasure, honestly, and a regrettably short sure one at that. So much so that we were hoping we might see her again, so you can imagine our surprise and our delight when you arrived. If not horses or goats, then wait. Are you not leaders of these warriors? It, you do not carry an axe. Why is this? That is, that is because I cannot. Not since I was defeated by my own brother in battle. He had succumbed to his inner beast, your Karash, and struck a blow with such a ferocity that I have never fully recovered. But it is well that he did, for I too was in a draw to the beasts at that time. Had he not given his all, countless innocents may have died by my hand. Oh, it is not an unfamiliar story. Many a quarrel has suffered grievous injury, which rendered them unable to fight. But I am a boo, a healer. I can help you wield your axe once more. Oh? Is this in your power? I, I did not think it was possible. It pains me to see a warrior who yearns to fight, but cannot. Allow me to treat you as repayment for your kindness. For oh, glad I am to accept. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yay! The treatment requires a quantity of shiver moss. While it is not native to your land, I believe a similar type grows here. Let's go and gather some. Cool. Let's go get some shiver moss. You lot, return to your training for now. I don't know about you, Joanna, but I'm bloody excited! <laughs> Will Curious Gorge come back? Uh. Maybe that was a way to just write him out of the story. It's like, nah, he's going, uh... He's going to his Yim step. We gone for now. I remember when we could not fly here. Ha, <laughs> those were the times. That was three years ago. The fact that I've been playing this game for, well, almost four years. Yeah, I started in 2019 of winter, so. Good God. So much time has passed. How much money have I spent on this game? I don't want to think about it. Do you have any siblings, Kagan? I am youngest of 18 myself. Good lord, sir! Have you heard of protection? The moss of which I spoke of I spied in this place not long ago. We will need to moderate amount... Of need a moderate amount for the ritual to heal Broken Mountain. You and Orgono can both assist me in this. Look for mossy rocks nearby and shatter them with a heavy swing. And gather up the shiver moss. Ah, I remember this game. The Marauders were always breaking rocks to hone their skills. This'll be easy. 
Use a heavy swing on the mossy boulders to obtain the shiver moss. Bam! Oh, you just get it. Cool. It's always smashing boulders with us warriors, huh? He's in our blood. We must smash. Poor wild dodos, they look at us and they're like, what the fuck? Those guys are intense. Have I gotten... hang on, what warrior... Whoops. Huh. That's 560. I just realized, what is my item level here? It is 616. Well, my other tank is 628. You will your axe with great skill, Kagan. May I have the sugar moss? Here you go, buddy. Yeah, heal up a uh, broken mountain. Very good. Now, before my daughter returns, there is one other matter which I must discuss with you. She is a woman grown, and as her father, I must think of her future. Of marriage. Oh, uh, well, she's very cute, but I'm sorry, I have to decline. I've, you know, I got many suitors, you know, it is. No, I'm not talking about you. Oh. I mean, oh. Alas, she has shown no interest in any warriors of the Quell. At first, I thought none suited her. But then I began to wonder, was her mind made up? Had she already chosen to suit her? Realizing this, I persuaded her to come with me to Eorzea. And now that we have met, I feel more certain than ever. Dorgono has fallen in love for a warrior of another land. And I could not be happier for her. For who could disapprove of the champion who stood against the Shagan? Joanna Joyster, Kagan of the Steppe, I will not oppose the union of you and Dokona! <laughs> you have my blessing, I offer you my blessing. Thank, thank you for saying gay rights, Loveson. I, I, it is very appreciative, especially in Pride Month. But that being said, no, it is not me. She's like, huh? My heart belongs to the- Oh! This is an interesting dialogue. Okay, my heart belongs to the sea. Did I mention I'm eternally bonded to someone else? <laughs> Honestly, I'm not all that keen on the whole institution of marriage. So, there's this bloke called Gorge. Don't mind if I do! Aw, oh, she's cute. Well, I guess I could see myself. Can I see Joanna dating this lady? Let's imagine. We have a house on the island. She tends to the herd. I break rocks with my warrior spirit. No, that's not, I don't, I don't imagine that. I'm not even kidding. The whole institution of marriage is funny as hell. Uh... Fuck, I kind of want to say that last one. <laughs> oh, this is the greatest choice ever. Either the first one or the last one, really. It's, it's not either or. Oh, this is this is gal called Zero, but she's also very... She seems like a free spirit. Don't know if she'll end up with me in the end. You know how it is. As is, my heart does belong to the sea in some ways. Ah, fuck it. It's Pride Month. Don't mind if I do! Sorry, Gorge. Get out of here. Hey! Hey! Who you just decide such things for me? I will not marry Joanna. I've already chosen a suitor, and it is not her! Uh... Oh, I see. I was so certain that... Ahem. So who is this other suitor? It's also raining. I should probably close the window, because that rain has still somewhat filled with the fog of the ash. That rain probably smells kind of putrid. It's also flash rain because it's 
you know, it's that type of rain where there's no actual clouds. The sun is out. You can still see, see the sun. Well, it's not out. It's starting to set. But it, it's a clear sky, but it's just raining. Flash. Just flash rain. Anyway. <clears throat> we will not discuss this any further. We have the moss. Now let us go and prepare for the ritual. Hey, hey, uh, don't, don't talk about this. Wait, forgive me, Gagan. It spoke out of turn. The Gorno is right. We should attend to the ritual and restore Broken Mountain to the warrior he was. Damn it. Oh well, you know how it goes. Don't worry, Joanna. You'll find a girl for you one day. Or guy, I guess. Well, thank you, it does seem available. It's got single dad energy, though. Oh, no, I'm not. I know uh, what sort of ritual this is. Do you? The traditions of the quarrel are uh, completely another mystery to me. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, don't know, no. I'm so sorry he spoke to you like that. It's a bad habit of his uh, meddling in affairs, eh? You are not his concern. I have brewed an elixir using the moss. Drink it now. Very good. Your body is ready. His body is ready. <laughs> you must now receive the power of another great warrior. I can think of none more suitable than you, Kagan. Me? All right. We must awaken the Korash within him once more. I bid you summon the strength of Father Azim and strike Broken Mountain with all your might. <laughs> is this how healing is done? You better what now? <laughs> All your might, not hold nothing back. Swing to kill. Anything less than he will be crippled worse or die. Uh, I don't, don't think you understand what the healing is. Muster all your strength and attack Broken Mountain with a heavy swing. I like. Oh, this person is also doing the quest. All right. <laughs> Oh, 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 holy shit! Oh, what is wrong with you? Oh, God. I think I nearly chopped his head off. Should I do it again? And I swing again. No, no, it's good. Oh? Something else. What is this? This feeling I was welling up deep within. This fire. This passion. This rage. Yeah! Ah, oh, the beast stirs again. Its power is mine. It fills me with strength, and I remain in control. Huzzah! The strength never left you, my friend. The injury was not one of the flesh, but of the heart. Trickery of the mind. Deception of the self. The elixir served only to steal your flesh and dull the pain. So you could stand fast against the Kagan's axe. You will not need it again, for the fear that held you hostage has fled. I see. It was in my head all this time. It's a secret that fear can cripple a man worse than any wound, but I never thought. Gods, what a fool I've been. It's fine. You tried your best. Thank you so much for helping me overcome my foolishness, Lovson. You made me a great warrior again. Gorge! Hey, what up? <laughs> you look so like, huh? Thank her, for a warrior of surpassing strength and power is indispensable for this ritual. No other could have served as well. I, there is no greater warrior than Joanna. No! <laughs> I love this quest line. <laughs> this is... No, Gorge is not what you think. My heart belongs to the sea. I was lying. How could you, Joanna? You and Ogono? All this time. It all makes sense now. The letters. The silence. 
It was you. I I ne I rarely speak anyway. C curious Gorge, what is this nonsense you speak? What's gotten into you? Oh, join a run. Oh no, you don't, you stupid fool! Will he come back? Oh! Don't give in to the toxic masculinity gorge. You hey dude, you good, buddy? Oh, what the hell happened? Huh? She's like, what am I gonna do with this guy? Even I'm like, what the fuck, man, bro? Come on, man. Well, that was that was beautiful. Um, I'm so sorry, everyone. When I went to the docks to find a ship bound for the far east, I ran into some marauders who told me to go. The and her father had come. So overcome by joy, I began searching for them at once, but when I finally found you here, I saw how you looked at Joanna with such joy. All my earlier fears came rushing back, and the beast within me seized control. It better not happen again. You're lucky I held back. Next time I won't. <laughs> so scared. And brother, it is true that you fully recovered. You're a warrior reborn? Just like a realm reborn, yes. Congratulations! It's a true like a dream come true. Indeed, brother, indeed. At first I struggled to believe it, but it is as Lovson says. I must go join the training sessions at once. And do not fear, the beast will not claim me again. Yay! I cannot thank you enough, Lovson. It has been longer than I can remember since my brother smiled, so you've given us such a gift. It is the least I could offer and do after all you've done for my daughter. Thank you for your kindness and your hospitality. Our time is short, however, and we must be on our way. Dargono, tell him. Having said that, Dargono, I am reminded that you're still young and want to, for experience. You are not yet a warrior fit to wed, and so I bid you continue to strengthen your body and mind here in this land. It suits you, I think. Yay! Did you hear that? I can stay! We can even train together! I can show you all the techniques we, Corel, used to hone our skills. Aye, but first I must teach you my methods. You must come with me to Hidden Falls right this instant. You too, Joanna. I have a few final words I wish to say to you there. Now off they go. What a... What a fun quest line. I love to do a lot of just... Choices are warrior like this led to this entire that entire uh, moment. So many good ones. I did like one in five more. I was thinking I was like thinking I don't usually think that far ahead for Joanna in terms of her lore, but I was like, what, what is she into? She's into probably guys and girls. Would she be bonded right now? Probably not. It was fun. It was, it was nice. She's out. She's in the waterfall. When well met, Joanna. I should have known. I should have you know that. While Curious Gorge made a noble contribution to the cause, it was I who truly helped bring an end to the primal of Lanaska. 
you become quite the impressive warrior in your own right, but make no mistake, I'll surpass you someday yet. I'll keep training, buddy. And get a uh, good item level. I trust you understand what this all means, my friend. Now that my brother has taken up the axe again, the competition for the title of the old year's greatest warrior will be that much more intense. Don't forget, I'm in the running too, you know. So keep at it, warrior. For the time will come when we challenge you again. Da 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 da. Well met, Joanna. I. Oh, okay. It's the same thing. Hey, buddy. Training hard or hardly training, Joanna? Not that the Dorgono and I are making great strides, warrior, and that the day will soon come when we can challenge your supremacy. How fair are you of late? Brunbar tells me you went on quite a rampage on the battlefields of Garlemald. A shame we weren't there to see it. A strange looking primal came crawling out of the tower in Lanoska. So Dogono, brother, and I had our hands full helping to quell the threat. Ah, cool. Matter of fact, I went on quite a rampage myself. Best watch yourself, Joanna, lest I steal your title as realm's greatest warrior. That's cool. That's a nice little detail they added. What was that tower? I have no idea. Somewhere in Lenasca. I feel like they imagine it was a tower right here in Coastal So, Like, look at the beachfront property and this giant fucking tower of evil. You two can buy your own co at house at Costa del Sol. Do I want to wear this slutty outfit for a uh, samurai? Uh, fuck it, why not? Sometimes samurai train without very much clothes. I saw Samurai Jack. Sometimes you would like take a shirt off and then be in a waterfall and then just start meditating. Sure, why not? That's how that goes. Anyway. Where were they? In Ulda? I think so. It actually is weird. They didn't, didn't really have a home. We could try Ulda first and then we'll go find them in Kugane. Because in Ulda, that, that dude was in the Adventurer's Guild. I don't know who that is. Oh, it's our sin. Oh, I, oh, I know, I know who that is. It's, it's, it's second. Hello, second. I'll bow to him. Where's bow? Uh, bow, 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 bow. Um, so smart. I'll do an Eastern bow. I do not know what he's doing. I thought he was streaming. I have no idea. Actually, I assumed he was streaming Destiny. He could be streaming. Oh, let me go check right now. Oh, he was streaming Honkai, and then now he's streaming Ever 14. That makes sense. But he's on break. It's not here. That must mean it's in Kugane. To Kugane! That's so much money! Why would you do this? I don't know why I just turned into... Whatever the heck that was, but okay. Will it be here? It's the Legend of Muso Sai. Probably. It's level 80, so... I'm gonna assume that's a yes. Sekisugumi Barracks. Ba ba ba. Ba 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 ba. Makoto, hello. Oh. Wait, I mean, that is gonna be very sad, so I actually I will wear some outfit. Hang on. Ah, we could wear this. It's very elegant. Joanna, how good of you to pay me a visit? 
And now of all times, you see, I'm about to depart for Eorzea to visit Master Musasai's grave to tell him of our victory over Ugetsu. And you should come to me at this juncture, is most fortuitous. Would you do me the honor of accompanying me on this journey? Yeah, let's go. Thank you, my friend. Unless you wonder, I've not forgotten about Momo Zigo. You, I would call him a, on him as well. Upon arriving, let us go first to the quicksand. I just came from over there, now I have to go back. Ba 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 I only have an hour. He's still there. Who knows what, what dreams he has. Boop. Hey, what up, Makoto? I'm afraid Momozigo isn't here. According to the folk here, he's in the midst of preparing for another spectacle. Though I'm curious as to what he has in store, we shouldn't keep Master Mumusai, Musosai waiting. Let's go to his grave first. The place was the Silver Bazaar, if I recall correctly. Come, let's be on our way. Don't know why I thought I could just summon my mount, but okay. Is it in Central Dinalan, if I'm correct? Uh... Mm, this is Western Dandelion. Does any of these go there? So you don't need to have to teleport to that one and... No, well, it's not that much money. Yeah, the Gate of Sultana goes to Western Dandelion, okay. Very appropriate, it's this dog. This is a nice area. There's still some greenery here. Nice little desert with some greens. Yeah, we flew through that. <laughs> it's kind of much livelier than I recall. And our folk attired as samurai besides. Curious. Oh? But come, Master Moose was at wait. Oh, maybe he brought more samurai to come and pay their respects. Maybe he made a funeral. Oh, that'd be nice if he did. Here we are. We did it, Master Mususai. With Joanna standing with us. We defeated Ugetsu, put an end to his madness. I'm glad that the, the town was like, yeah, you can put a body there, why not? That's like the 50th body we have here today. And your teachings, your legacy, they live on in the Sekusugumi. So please rest easy. Tis done. Thank you for accompanying me. Ah! I won't stand for this mummery. That sounds like trouble. Let's go see what is afoot. Run. What's happening? What is this man in the the bluest outfit? <sighs> Dressing like a samurai doesn't don't make you one. You bastard, Sully Master Musa size memory. Balls, balls! It's, it's you! Oh! What, what's happening? That man knows you and Master Musasai both, and would find out who he is. Is that that guy we fought on the boat? That is one callback. I barely remember that though, so I think it could be him. I think he was in gold. Do 
Joanna, hey, what is wrong with you? What are you doing here? Why are you here? Oh, forgive me. I've learned my lesson since you trust me on the ship. I've mended my ways. Ostrogyne. Is that what his name was? I kind of want to say that. Just be like, Ostrogyne. That's like, just not my fucking name. Fuck it. We'll say that. Uh, hi, I'm Ostrogon. The, the bodyguard and, and to a serial killer who thought he could take you on. But I've stopped selling my sword to crooks. I need an honest life now. Selling toad oil. Is toad oil honest? It seems to me the evil in this man has been excised. That's good. You have not to fear from Joanna. Please be at ease and tell us the cause for your earlier outburst. You see, after I saw what a true samurai could do, I knew I wanted to become one too. Uh, so I sought Master Muxusai out, hoping he'd take me on as his pupil. Only to learn he'd, uh, he'd already passed away. Since then, I've been visiting his grave every day in order to get inspiration. Recently, though, someone's been telling me a tale of Master Muxusai's quest to right wrongs at the quicksand. On account of that, people started dressing up like samurai and flocking to his grave like some god's damned spectacle. But they're false, the whole lot of them. Faster than I ever was. Hmm. I had the honor of knowing Master Musasai, and a Master Musasai I knew would be glad if his tale inspired others to follow in his footsteps. And though he was a solitary man, he did not spurn the company of others. I don't believe he would mind the crowds. Really? Well, I suppose you'd know better than me. Ah, but of course! Might, might be as Master Musasai is gone, but you were his pupil. I beg you, teach me how to be a true samurai like you. Uh, I don't have the time. I gotta like save the world. I, I, I can't take more pupils. Joanna, as much demands, has much demands on her time, and he is not in a position to take on pupils. But if you are determined to learn, I invite you to come to Kogane. I can introduce you to schools of swordsmanship. You, you mean I can train in the Far East? Where it all began! I'd love nothing more! I'd be a, it'd be a dream come true. Very well. A long journey is better with company. Let's return to Kugane together. Though I wonder, there's someone who has been telling the tale of Master Musasai's quest. It seems to me it could only be one person. Uh, yeah. Well, I should go, uh, talk to them. It would be a shame to have come all this way and not see our friend. Let us try visiting the quicksand again. Hola. Da 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 oh, yeah, second cell back from his break. Good for him. But alright. We don't have time. We have about an hour to finish this one and then what's after this one? It's Astro and then Machine. I don't think we'll have enough time for a machinist. We can save that for later. As I thought we would do. I had to quicksand. If only I started just a little earlier. We could save that probably for when I, um... Get other jobs under my belt. What would it be then? We can look... At... My character. And see the classes and jobs, so... It'd be machinist, it'd be left. Dancer. Machinist, dancer, ninja. Black Mage, and then Gumbreaker, and that's all of them after that, yeah. Yeah, I got five more jobs left. 
and four more jobs to level, to be honest. Black Mage is close, so yeah, we're, we're getting close to capping all the jobs. Soon, I'll uh, the content will be done, and then I level crafters and gatherers. <laughs> James, me to say that I don't actually know much about Master Musa. I, I'd be interested in hearing this tale myself. As I had expected, Momokuzigo is indeed our storyteller, and as luck would have it, he's about to begin another session. Oh. Oh, that's nice. I'm surprised that he's able to come here and tell his little stories. They have this? I've never seen this. They have little steps for him. Gather ye round, one and all, and listen to my tale. A tale that began with an unlikely meeting between a young adventurer and an elderly samurai hailing from the Far East. Known as Musosai, the samurai took on challengers upon the blood sands. Many answered his call, but none had an answer to his transcendent swordsmanship. For a time, it seemed that he would go undefeated. But there came one unassuming adventurer, wielding the katana, a foreign weapon she had therefore never held. She fought with heart and skill to claim victory. Hey, what up? I think said giving away the, the, the ending of, in, in the first part of the story is a little, little bold, but okay. After journeying the realm over, vanquishing evil together, Never could the adventurer have imagined that her, for her final test, she must vanquish Musasai herself, himself. Left with no recourse, she drew her katana and faced her friend and master. A grueling battle unfolded, with neither side yielding a single ilm. The adventurer brought her all to bear. But she was matched at every turn by Musosai, who unleashed technique after deadly technique, betraying no signs of illness that ravaged his body. But at the end of the contest of equals, it was the younger samurai who dealt the final blow to emerge the victor. Her master had trained her well. As he lay battered and bloodied on the snow, Musasai demanded that his pupil finish it, shutting her eyes tight. The adventure raised her katana. Whoosh! The blade traced a vicious arc. <gasps> oh, no, no, I didn't do that. And cleaved empty air. The adventurer has excised the evil in Musasai. As Musasai himself had done for those who could yet be redeemed. It's actually gonna be emotional, god damn it. So it was that the elderly samurai found peace in his final moment. It is said that his soul now rests atop the cliff by the silver bazaar, where he gazes out at the setting sun. And somewhere out there, the young adventurer continues her noble master's legacy, fighting for justice, vanquishing evil wheresoever it should exist. Rock on, buddy. So ends my tale. The legend of Master of Musosai. Thank you all for your kind attention. Yay! Oh, that was nice. That's a good bookend to this, to the storyline. Good job, man. You know, it's harder to do this with you lot in the audience, but it's good to see you all. Even Mr. Fake Samurai. 
You're doubtless wondering how I fell into my new calling. Well, during my trip to Kugane, I had the chance to hear a storyteller at the Mujokoza. I knew right away that this is what I wanted to do. My gift of gab was meant for. That was a masterful and heartfelt retelling. I pray that you will continue to share the tale of Master Musasai with all the world. You can depend- You can depend on it! Of course- Though, of course, if I'm to be a storyteller worth my salt, I'll need some variety of repertoire. Joanna, you're still out there doing adventuring, aren't you? Don't you have any new tales to share that could make a good yarn? Hmm. The hunt for Andrea. So it was this beast, a woman trapped in sorrow. By the twelve, the quest to right wrongs took you across the rift to another world. Truth really is stranger than fiction. My thanks, Joanna. This will be a splendid addition to my tales. I'm afraid it is time we sought our ship. Brief though it was, I'm glad for our reunion. I'm gonna trade hard at Higanshi, and I'm gonna come back a real samurai, just you watch. If your travels should bring you to Gugane again, please come and seek me out at the barracks. Till next time. Good luck, both of you. To think that the pretender would have would have a change of heart and try to become a true samurai. The old man would be pleased. It goes to show Musasai's legacy truly lives on in you, Joanna. And it takes root even in the hearts of those you sliced up. So keep fighting the good fight, my friend. And remember to visit me from time to time. Share more of your tales. Yeah. See you later, buddy. It would be cool if this was a recurring event. You just see in the background him telling his, his tale. Sam, I am three. Same I am. That would be neat. It would be a lot. Oh, he's just here, though. Ah, Joanna, I'm pleased to say my sessions of Legend of Musasai are as popular as ever. A toast for the to the old man who helps me... Helps make me rich even in death. <laughs> it came out a little weird, but all right. But what of yourself, my friend? Embarked on any exciting adventures of late? Remember, if you have any new tales to share, I'm all ears. Oh, I can't tell them any of them. Let me fix it up. Maybe it's in Kugane, maybe I could talk to her. I know I may regret spending a lot of money coming here because it was a entire astro quest in Kugane, but okay. Yeah, she actually here at the barracks. Can I actually see both of them? Always travels in here. Hello? There's Makoto. What up, girl? Joanna, you honor us with your visit. Pray stay as long as you like and take your ease. There you go, that's it. How fair you of late. Master Hancock has informed us of your quest. To think that you travel to the farthest reaches of existence. Incredible does not even begin to describe it. As uh, for news of my own, Momoziko visited Kugane again recently and performed the Legend of Musasai at the Mujikoso to a standing ovation. Awesome. This was but one stop on our friend's journey. Drew entertainment, he wanted to spread cheer, and the world plunged into turmoil, and thus took to the road. That's really nice, especially when uh, people were, um, if they felt despair, then they turned into monsters. That, that that was a, yeah, it was a good one. Taking inspiration from his efforts, we, Sekisugumi, will continue striving to uh, do our duty, righting one wrong at a time, that we may sow the seeds of more tales to come. Alright, that's what I wanted to see. Oh, God. So, next area is... The Foundation. So much money. It's fine, I have 28 million gil. BB. Burning a hole in my pocket. 
All right, to the Astralitanium Astrologicum. Uh, astro, 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 astro. Where is it? And I just so happen to have the job gear. Fantastic. That's great. But the moon in the kitchen in the mall is already. I don't, I don't know what that means. Jan, buddy, love. Astrolog astrologically. Oh, Jan. Joanna, you always seem to know the precise moment at which your services are required, such as the mark of an accomplished astrologian. If I do say so myself. Which would, of course, imply you are already aware that of what I would ask of you. Yet I shall indulge you with my request nonetheless. It is Master Rufin. Following our return from Kugane, she has been distant. Well, more distant than usual. Enough to give one pause, at least. I thought I might ascertain the source of her worriment with a deck of 60, but was presented with the usual slumongolian of vague portents and potentious vagaries. Basically, oh! By the time I was unwrapped by my throbbing, by the time I unwrapped my throbbing head from the spread, all I could discern was something about a dark wind blowing from the east. Hmm. I suppose this could imply not any number of things. I skipped that by accident. Hang on. I suppose this could imply many a number of things. Ill tidings from our allies in Doma. A rainstorm brewing over the black shroud. A fire that at the fine practice. Patisserie near the Ark of the Venerable. Why, I suppose even you could be the Dark Wind. Ahem. Uh, no. Right. That's what to say. What? <laughs> Let us simply say I am worried about our companion, but I am at a loss as to how I might help her. Leveva has been spending much of her days up at the last vigil, staring blankly over at the sea of clouds. I've attempted speaking uh, with her, but the lady is about as receptive to my concerns as one might expect. Perhaps, though, she would prove more forthcoming with her star people. Maybe. It's a good idea. Let's go talk to her. Speak with Lady Lebeva at the last vigil. Whoop. No girl, I keep looking. It's cloudy day. You can't really see the stars right now. Unless I go to this cutscene and you have magically made this sky clear. <sighs> it will never work. And I was a fool to think. Oh, Joanna. Just a woman I wanted to see. Might you remember our good friend? Might you remember Kyokuho? Lanky, damn it, why I keep skipping that? Lanky, fellow, disheveled hair, somewhat capable in geometric arts. Geometric arts? Well, it appears his travels will be bringing him once again to Ishgard. Seeing as he has provided me with a wealth of valuable insight into his discipline, the least I could do would be to greet him upon his arrival. Unfortunately, I must see some to unfinished affairs near the architects. Would it be too much to ask for you to visit the Aether Plaza in my stead? I shall catch up with the both of you later in the Athenium Astrologicum. Well, she just dodged the question, technically. Look, you think of a number of things. They're shipping those two together, which is... Eh. Not my favorite ship, but whatever, I guess. He could be... She... Doesn't know how to talk to people. That's slightly true. Many number of things. Hello. What up, Kyo? Kuho? Joanna, imagine us meeting here. Could it be fate? <laughs> I just... Slow down, friend. I've only just arrived in Ishka and already you're recruiting me to some urgent cause. You Westlanders certainly don't waste your time. Didn't you do the same? I intended this to be but a short visit to discuss how matters have progressed since you vanquished 
Kinko. And they didn't mean to restore my grandfather's wards. However, I suppose that all that can wait. To the a Athenium, then. Yeah, you could also do that when you're there. Sure, why not? It's good to see you again, too, Jenna Joanna tells me that all is not well with Lady Lavava. Ah, so I see someone has wasted little time in informing every rat in the broom of matters that I thought it obvious were more personal nature. What? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? I'm sorry. I'm trying to help. Oh, save the drama for the stage, my friend. Joanna merely recognized that the intimate connection Lady Lavava and I forged in Gugane made me the perfect candidate for discerning what might be weighing oh so heavily on her soul. Huh! And how do you propose to do that? Do it? I've already done it. Lady Liva was in love. Ah, uh, maybe this was a mistake. But, but of course she is! Wait, what? Her arch enemy defeated. Her father's memory honored, and the city saved. Lady Lefefa has conquered the countless peaks that rose before for her with an air of plume that would belie her mere 16 summers. And now, bereft of her purpose, she has turned her eyes to companionship to fill the void that lies agape in her heart. Are you... How is it, what's it like living in a fantasy world? It seems fun. I believe I can help. Joanna, might you know the lonely lady's current whereabouts? Those massive stone effigies of raw masculinity? Oh, it is worse than I thought. We must make haste. Uh, yeah, you're right. I messed up. I'm sorry. Don't tell me you take that adult pated moon boy seriously. Lady Leveva. In love? What a ridiculous notion! Oh, nurse! If she is smitten with some unknown individual, and I am by no means implying that she is, it is my duty as a f as friend of her father to determine if the cur is worthy of Lady Leveva's attention. Oh my god. You know, it's... what's terrible? Is he... what if he's right? That's the worst part of this. Uh, tribunal is closest. So what are we doing here? Taking a piss? I, meant, I hopefully pronounced the taking the piss correct, uh, strongly. Otherwise, it would sound very weird. What are you doing right now? Look, there she is. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Both of these are great choices. <laughs> I'm going to go with, that, with this one. Then why are we here? Let's go talk to her. I was afraid you might ask that. What do you think we should do? Talk to her? I don't know. What are you getting at, man? I am but a humble student of geomantic arts. I have little understanding when it comes to matters of the heart. What do you think I do? And what, pray tell, are you two doing here? Uh, you know. Chatting about... Uh, I'm giving him the, the sights. Look at these statues, buddy. Yo, look how cool these statues are. That one is, um, Sir B Booty Knight. The other one is Sir, uh, Carp. Carp. Sir Carp. Named after a fish. I got nothing. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Kyo, take us away. 
I, uh, greetings and salutations, my dearest Lavava. Aren't you looking most splendid and fine this evening? We're splendid. Spent a few bells in the books, have we? Time will tell if this new vocabulary suits you. But, uh, time is not a luxury I am afforded at this moment. The city's din is positively deafening. It stifles my thoughts and upsets my humors. What I require is clarity, something unattainable within these stone walls. The quiet camp of Dragonhead, however, may provide me with a moment's respite. There's not that many people here, but okay. Oh, and you may cease with this ridiculous talk of matters of the heart. Love is the furthest of my worries. I for one am already promised to win letter. She is. Well, way to go. You messed that one up. Uh, uh, already? Promised? Oh, I didn't know anything about that. Oh, that you ever had a chance. What is that even? Ah, Kukuho. There's no need to kneel in my presence. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Uh, did I miss anything? Uh, Lady Love, I was apparently promised to win letter. I see. It comes as a little surprise that one of her social standing would be betrothed at such a young age. Such is a custom amongst older houses, even in the city as progressive as Charlian, and she hails from one of the oldest. Give it up, man. It was over before it began. And it didn't even begin. I... I suppose it's just that. Kyokuro! Wither and vim and vigor from our conversation earlier. Ah, and all this upon learning Lady Vervava is to be married. A more astute observant might presume a certain emotional attachment to a young protege. But that would be ludicrous. I, for one, know that good Kyokuho's feelings towards Lady towards Lavava are not but those of admiration for her skill at the astromantic arts. So let us return to the ha task at hand. We still do not know what is weighing down the lady's fragile heart. Oh, what better way to find out than to ask? A novel idea, don't you think? Asking someone what is troubling them rather than assuming, but not having actually spoken to them, or even seen them for some time that they're simply longing for amorous relations maybe you should fucking ask them not that i'm talking about anyone in particular anyway wonderful kyokuho and i shall return to the athenium where i will make certain he refrains from idle meddlement in any other lives thanks buddy <laughs> i agree clapped his hands like come on uh, chop chop let's go oh my god Yeah, I'm dragging it. Oh, it ends where it began. Although I think I still maybe have time for another one. It's possible. Depends on when this ends. I don't want to rush through the machinist one though, so I don't mind saving it up for later. Oh, maybe I also should save it for later because it seems like by level. Although maybe it doesn't count if it's level 90, as long as it's like, hey, you. You completed Endwalker, even if it's not level 90, it's fine. One day I should make a tier list of the best job stories. That's a good idea. I don't make tier lists, but that, that, that sounds like a fun video. No one does a tier list on job storylines, anyway. That's an untapped market. No one steal that, that from me, by the way. Otherwise, I will write a mean-spirited letter. It'll have an anger face emoji. As persistent as always. Fine. You've seen through my ruse. I am not, in fact, promised to another. I simply applied as much as silence, Kyokuho. All right. There was a time I was promised to another. You have my grandfather to thank for that. However, since I am now officially deceased, my assumption is that the arrangement will have been annulled. Not that I shall ever bother to actually confirm this assumption. Yes, I know, it's 9 o'clock. What is troubling me? 
Huh. Does not my attention to involve you or Jan, or even Kyokuho in such matters. However, discord in my silence has sown, perhaps warrants an explanation. Despite repeated efforts following our recent achievement in Kogane, I have been unable to conceive feasible means of blending the teachings of Charlene astrology and those of Far Eastern geomancy. As Kyokuho explained, unlike astrologians who look to the stars above to read their fates, geomancers look to the star below to listen to its songs and draw their answers from its whispers. Yet try as I might, I remain impotent in tapping the land's puissance. I've spent my life attuning to the slight variations of the eater of distant stars, so much so that when I look to Hydaelyn and her eater, I'm overwhelmed by its potency, its glow, you could say. To think of it, to think of it as trying to open one of the heaven's gates in a world of everlasting daylight. Uh, about that. World of everlasting daylight. About that. I went to a fun place. You have visited such a place? Then my readings were accurate. Exactly where have your adventures taken you, Joanna? Ah, oh, sit in a spell and listen to the tale of Giot, the drunkard. And she took off her helmet. And you had no trouble channeling the ether from that world's heavens, despite the fact that you had never once physically laid eyes upon, eyes upon them. Intriguing, but I am a woman of reason, and I shall require more than a word of another, no matter how close, to convince me of this phenomenon. A first-hand demonstration, however, might suffice a single expected benefit, perhaps. Want me to do, do expected benefit on you? Uh, benefit two, come on, expect it. There we go. Your faculty for ethereally conversing, conversing with celestial bodies, both far and near, is peerless. A uh, most eloquent display, and one I should endeavor to learn from. I have committed the most grievous sins by allowing things such as light, distance, and dimension, things that hold no dominion over the realm of ethereal, to prevent me from unbinding my full potential. You, however, help me realize the error of my ways. I believe now I might continue my studies. Just not here. I'm unsure why I thought this place would be suitable for location from to ponder my predicament. In the first place, perhaps, it, has been, it was the memories of our first lesson here. Ahem. Let us hurry back to the Adanium, lest we catch a cold. Alrighty. An hour and 46 minutes by the by four it's like nearly 30 minutes of each which means it is maybe possible uh, I should say five for later All right, level, what you got? What's well, a cutscene and everything? What's with the scales? Foremost, I believe I owe you both an apology. Or at least I owe you one, Jan. As for you, Kyokuho, uh... What the heck? <laughs> She's angry. She's staring! How did you arrive at the ridiculous notion that I was somehow languishing in the throes of love? Uh, uh. When Joanna and Jan mentioned you were not yourself after returning from Kugane, I simply assumed that... What? That doesn't look at me! What the hell? Don't you, do you dare suggest that we had any hand in this, Kyokuho? You were not a quarter bell in the pillars before you were telling anyone who would listen about the cavernous maw that yawned in the heart of poor lonely Master Rufin. And how you were and how you were to fill it. Lonely Ta I'm far from lonely. In fact, I've already promised my heart to another. Huh! 
to science, to magic. Of course, I already promised to, uh, wait, wait, what? You heard me, and I've never spoken the truer word. That's false, but okay. Whoever could it be? It's certainly not Joanna. Oh, heavens for friend. Kill Kuho. It could be me. Why not me? Heidelin. Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. Why astrology, of course. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I was about to say, if you said Heidelin, I have some bad news for you, girl. What? what? Who do you ex who did you expect, Quimperain? Oh, 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 oh. Maybe he's in another cutscene, right? <sighs> I suppose you're wondering what brought me to Ishgard in the first place. It most certainly wasn't to ruffle Master Rufin's feathers, though it seems I have succeeded in that nonetheless. Our triumph over Kinko, having restored the people of Kugani's faith in geomancy, was not long ago before a gaggle or of eager mages were clamoring at my door, seeking guidance in the art of wind and water. To accommodate, I transformed the grand my grandfather's study into a place where I might train those who are willing to invest the time and effort necessary to become masters. Which reminds me, my students are likely wondering where their sensei is. Farewell, Joanna. Good luck. Oh, that's nice. New... New astrologians. So, he came to tell us of his new school of geomancy. Did we not give him a link, bro? I don't know. Everyone just likes coming here. I think the cutscene uh, writers are like, we... Uh, cannot... We don't like using link pearls. At any rate, Allow me to thank you once again for the inspiration you provided. Despite being your mentor in matters astrological, I find myself consistently in your debt when it comes to, well, everything else. You are a true friend and confidant, Joanna. Oh. Good luck. And as always, she has once again failed to acknowledge that it was I who first noticed her change in mood, and that it was my reading that predicted your arrival, and that it was my good judgment that eventually pointed you in her direction. Ah, huh, but such is my destiny, I suppose. You're so true, Jan. You really helped out. I am simply happy that Lily Liver is back to her normal self. If aught were to befall her, Lufin would haunt me till the ape from Bolera. Thank you again, Joanna. I would say we make a fine team, but considering you cover the curl's share of the footwork, I will refrain from any further analogies of a sporting nature. Good luck, man. The stars in our faults. Four. Alright, an hour and 51 minutes. That is... Six... E plus 51. I'm trying to calculate right now. I can divide it by four. So that's 111. Divided by yeah, four. So it took about a little under half an hour for each. Almost like a television episode. That being said, it's about 27 or 28 minutes. Uh, meaning that I don't have enough time. I have to get ready for something by 9.30. So, we don't have enough time. But it's fine. The last batch of this we will be doing, and it will take a while. So, we won't be doing these for a while. Um, we'll be Machinist, Black Mage, then... I don't know what order I'll go. Maybe I've leveled... DPS. I think it's time to level a tank again for the last time. So it'll be Gunbreaker, then Dancer, then Rogue. And that'll be it, really. Um, so that is a good... Three, four, five. Five of them. It's good to end on five. 
And Blue Mage isn't a real job. So, yeah. All right. And then there's the Disciple of Hand and Land ones, which I don't know if I can save all the job quests for that one. I kind of need to uh, just do that on my own time. But yeah, that's it then for today. This has been fun. I'm glad we get to do all this. Um, I say it before I say it again. Thank you everyone for coming by. Now I will end off. Before I end, just want to say, still uploading stuff to the VOD channel on YouTube, uh, Puppy Streams and LP. It is a link in my uh, Twitch bio, and it is also a link in my Twitter link tree. I have a link tree there. I think link tree, Puppy Park. Um, yeah, right now it's the Phoenix Wright ones. I uploaded all the Persona 5 Royal ones, uh, already a while back. So you can see that. So we're a year behind in terms of streams. So it's a lot of videos, but it'll, it'll, it's still chucking along. Still going. So that's good. Uh, don't know when it'll finally catch up, but, uh, that'd be nice to see. Follow me on Twitter for when I tw uh, tweet out when I'm live. Next time we'll probably do more Tears of the Kingdom, probably on Saturday, if I have enough time. I'm probably going to clean my room quite a bit, gotta do stuff, and then we'll see what goes after that. If I feel too tired, I won't do it. And Sunday is the Xbox Showcase, so at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Sunday, we will be streaming that probably a little bit before, um, you know, it starts. And, uh, so yeah, we'll see what's going on there. Some of Games Fest happened a while back, um... Uh, literally yesterday I didn't get to stream it because I was busy doing errands but I saw some of it it was pretty good ish uh, the last trailer was good really good it was a Final Fantasy 7 rebirth thing so that was, that was great but that's that's about it it's enough housekeeping so thank you everyone for coming by have a good day